What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another makeup video for you. So I just recently did a video with this new background and this new lighting situation and I wanted to see if you guys liked it, if you wanted to get more makeup videos, you seem to respond very positively to it, which I was very excited about. So I figured I would try again, this time doing a tutorial that you guys have been requesting a lot recently. I don't always do this purpley, I make up the same way, it's like one of my really more dramatic looks. I figured I would just do some variation of it on camera so you guys could see see how I did it. So if you're interested, then keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna start off by filling in my brows. I'm using this ColourPop brow color in the color Bang & Brunette, and I do use a nail brush for this, just because I feel like it's just the perfect shape. I do not have a good brow brush, so if you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. But I also realized that at this angle, it looks like one of my brows is huge and the other one is just really small. That is not the case, it's just because I'm sitting at an angle. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take my Maybelline concealer in the color Light Pale, and I actually use this instead of an eyeshadow primer just because I find that it helps a little bit better and it also gives me more even coverage. And then I'm gonna take my Luxie Round Top Blender and I'm just gonna blend that in. Then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Love Contours All Palette, which I'm obsessed with, and this Morphe B13 brush, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid just to set that concealer. In that same palette, I'm going to take my Sigma E40 brush and a slightly purplish sort of neutral color, and I'm just going to start to use that to carve out my crease. So in my last video, I did speed up doing my eyeshadow a little bit, but you guys asked me to slow it down, so I am going to show you guys in real time the eyeshadow, the stuff that I have done before. I'm just going to probably speed up a little bit, but anyway, I'm going to take my Morphe M330 brush and this slightly darker purple, and then I'm going to go in and start to deepen the crease. And again, it's really just a matter of just blending like over and over again for a really long time, which is why I cut some parts out, but basically I just go over and over it until it starts to blend out a little bit. So obviously it's not really going to turn out totally perfect because this isn't necessarily a blending brush. It's more of just for me for putting on the color in that crease area. So it doesn't look perfect yet. It looks maybe a little crazy, but I promise it is going to be fixed by the end of it. So then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette and the color Delirious. Delirium? Delirious. And I am just using the blending brush that came with this palette. I'm obviously a huge palette person. I do buy palettes over individual colors just because I feel like you get so many more colors. I'm also going to use the other side of that blending brush to just sort of blend in that crease area so it's not such a harsh line. So now I'm going to take this fluid eyeshadow, it's called Pure Metal Veil from the brand Absolute New York. This is in the color Champagne and it's actually really hard to tell on camera but it is a really beautiful cream eyeshadow and it has a really nice shimmer to it and I'm going to actually use this as a base for the shimmery gold that I'm going to put over that part of my eyelid. Now I'm actually going to go in with the highlighter color from the Love Contours All palette and I know that it is a highlight but I'm absolutely obsessed with using it as an eyeshadow just because I feel like one, the color payoff is absolutely incredible and two, it's just so incredibly shimmery, it's beautiful. So I'm going to pack that on over the liquid eyeshadow that I just used and I'm using this Morphe brush. Anytime you see me using a blue Morphe brush, that means I do not know the name of it. I try not to use them in my videos but I don't have that many brushes so sometimes I do have to use it so I'm sorry about it I should probably just invest in another set of brushes but anyway I'm gonna just blend that out slightly and then I'm going to take this ColourPop super shock shadow which I'm obsessed with it's the color dare I wasn't even like I don't even know what compelled me to buy it because this isn't generally a color I would go for but as soon as I put it on I was like oh my gosh this is amazing it's got this incredible shimmer to it I'm just applying it with my finger because that's what it suggests doing for this type of eyeshadow but it really honestly makes this purple color pop so well it's so beautiful and I really do love it then I'm going to take that same brush that I was using before for the purple and I'm just going to use that to sort of blend out just to make sure that my crease is still purple and it doesn't have any of that shimmer on there. I didn't add any additional color to the brush, I'm just sort of blending out right now.
So now I'm going to go back in with my NYX Love Contours All Palette. Obviously I have an obsession with this palette. It is There are just so many good colors in it. But anyway, I'm going to take my Sigma E30 brush and I'm going to just pack on the black color in the corner and then a little bit in my crease. I know it's totally not blended right now. I promise I will be blending it in. Oh look right now. So I am taking a clean brush and I'm just blending that in. And then I'm going to go back in with a purple color again just to sort of blend that out a little bit better. Okay, so now we're moving on to my face. I'm using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, and I am going to speed this part up and probably some other face stuff just because if you watched my last video, it's mostly the same products. Again, I'm using my Tarte Foundation in the color Light Beige, and then I am going to use this Luxie brush just to blend it in. Again, I know I look super pale because I have some dark freckles, and I do get rid of those a little bit, and my skin underneath is super pale, so that's why I use this foundation color. Then I am using the same concealer that I used before in Light Pale and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes and then also I have a couple of just little spots that are just darker freckles that I want to cover up just for this look and I'm going to blend that all in with the same blender brush. Then I'm going to take this Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder and my Luxie Angled Blender Brush and I'm going to put that on pretty heavily underneath my eyes and I uh, got a ton of my hair and this is me cracking up because that doesn't normally happen but of course it would happen on camera and I am going to just blend that in and then I'm also going to just wipe the remaining powder onto my face just to set that foundation and then I'm going to take this Angled Top Buffer Brush brush from Luxie again and I'm going to mix the two contour shades in the Love Contours All Palette and I'm just making a little bit of a darker contour again a couple people suggested that in my last video that I just get a little bit more dramatic with carving out my face a little bit. Now I'm going to take this Sigma Spotlight Powder and my Sigma F50 brush and this was just like a random freebie that I got with a purchase and I didn't know if it was really a blush or more of a bronzer or anything like that but I really love the color so I did throw it on there as a blush. And then I'm going back in with that same highlight color that I used as an eyeshadow and I'm just going to put a little bit above my cheekbones just as a nice little highlight. Now I'm going to take my Sephora eye pencil and this is in the color black lace, it's just their matte black one and I'm going to line my waterline and then I'm also going to do the top which is me closing my eye and just sort of rubbing the pencil back and forth just to try to get that to work. I'm going to take my E25 Sigma brush and this dark purple again and I'm just going to smoke that out underneath my eye. I'm also going to use that same purple color and that same brush just to sort of smudge it out all over my eye just to make sure that everything is a little bit more seamless. And then I'm going to go ahead with that highlight color again and I'm just going to put that on the inner corners of my eye and sort of just run it along the bottom of my eye until it blends in a little bit nicer with that purple. Then I'm going to take my Stila Liquid Liner in the color Intense Black, which is just their black one, and I am going to make some wings. Next I'm going to take some mascara and this is just by the brand Mally. I'm not even sure how I came across this but I I don't really have any like favorite mascara right now. I feel like they all sort of do the same thing and I don't really love any of them so I'm just using any random one from like my drawer of mascaras. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just throwing on some fake lashes, which I cannot do on camera because it's just impossible. I don't actually wear lashes for most day-to-day -day things. I really just wear them for my videos. And then I'm taking this ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lippy in the color Midi. And this is one of my favorite liquid lips in the world. I just feel like the color is so perfect. And I don't know, I just really like it.
But yeah, so just applying that. And that is actually the full look. Like I said, I don't do it exactly the same every time. I just like to have fun just playing around with different ways to achieve different looks. So yeah, this is just one of the many eye looks that I love doing. All right, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you want more makeup tutorials. I was thinking I could do the green eye makeup look that I've frequently been doing next. So if you guys want to see that, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I can improve on, how I can get better. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.